Scorpio, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 12th to the 18th of April 2021. No particular subject, we'll take an issue of something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future, uh, potential outcome. We'll clarify and get a message out there. Oh, the page of swords jumping, somebody watching you. On social media, possibly. So, it's not going to resonate for... Um, Every scorpion is completely from me, is that I'm dropping it. Um, do check out your replacements, your moon, your rising, your Venus, any stellar you may have in your chart. Um, thank you once again for the likes, shares, and subscribes, comments. All helps the channel grow. We celebrated one year anniversary of Gareth Hudson Tarot at the weekend. Um, 11,000 we've gained in that year, it's incredible. It's all down to yourselves, it's much appreciated. And um, description box has details of private reads as well as links to. Patreon, where you can get full access to all extended, individual extended through Vimeo and Instagram link for a photo of the spread. Okay, let's see, three more. The Four of Cups, okay. Discontent with something. For some of you, there could have been a falling out with friends. I'm looking at the Three of Cups being a sort of a friendship group here. Third house. Um, could be siblings. Could have fallen out with a sibling. Let's see. Something you're aware of. Something you're not aware of. Recent past, immediate future, potential outcome. The world, the page of pentacles, the king of wands, and temperance. I kind of want to say what you're completing some sort of cycle here and um, I also see some of you maybe traveling temperance in the world can indicate either a long distance move or travel don't worry about your material aspects I kind of feel like it's going to be taken care of um, so there could be some sort of discontent here It's as if the universe wants you to look at something different. You know, there's a, there's a focus here on, on this Three of Cups energy. The universe wants you to take a look at what's right in front of your eyes, possibly. What you're aware of is justice. Justice is karma, it's balance. It's um, Saturn at the bottom of the deck as well. Um, you know, Saturn is the Lord of Karma. I don't know, was it yourselves I've spoke to before about wanting Karma or was that Sag? Can't remember. Um, I almost feel like you're disappointed about something here. Maybe you wanted somebody to get their Karma. There's a, there's a need to look at something different. Look at the seven universal laws, cause and effect. What you're not aware of is the two of cups. Justice in the two of cups here, there could, there could have been engagements, marriages involved. Um, there's also, there's like a, a need that you're disappointed possibly f of an outcome of some kind. In the recent past is the six, six of Pentacles. Again, you know, strong sort of scales energy here. The Six of Pentacles usually has a scale in it. So it could be on the Libra. Um, or have Libra in your chart. But this is cause and effect. You know. What you say and do has repercussions. Um, it's, the, you know, it's the seven universal laws. You know. 
I almost feel like you've got a very powerful mind. Um, but you need to look at something different. The immediate future is Ace of Wands. This is that sort of spark of ingenuity. Um, and the power to heal using your intuition. The outcome is the hangman. It's a card of pause. It's a card of looking at things differently, having a different perspective on things. I almost feel like you're going to perhaps study the seven universal laws. Justice is about laws. Uh, this is all about cause and effect, karma. What goes around comes around. Let's dive into it. The clarifiers. It might not be you, this could be somebody else wanting you to receive your karma or something like that. We'll see. But I've just got this feeling that you're protected. You know, looking at the angel and the king of wands here, we look at the lion in the background. You know, nobody's going to mess with this king of wands while this is going on. So it could be somebody wanting It's very similar to a reading I did not long ago. It could have been you guys again. It's like this need to show compassion. I can't remember who it was. Suppose there could have been a shift in your um, in your view of things. It's like the more you study psychology, the less you can get angry with people because you know that you know the reasons behind why they do what they do. Um, it's kind of a similar thing here. So something could happen in this week that could trigger you to try and maybe look back into old ways and forget that you have unconditional love to give. So maybe the universe is just telling you to pause and remember. Remember the green, the heart chakra. Remember the unconditional love. Because there was a time where you needed somebody. This is... Somebody could be reaching out for you this week, uh, Scorpio, in need of help. And you're going to be reminded of a, a hurt from your past. And... In doing so, you may come across as not really interested. Um, and it's going to kind of, I'm getting this as like reopen a wound. It's possibly going to reopen a wound within you where you needed help at a time and nobody gave you it. Um, so if you can see this ahead of time you're going to be able to use your compassion open up your heart chakra um, and know that you know better now you know you can help people Yeah, I can't. The Queen of Wands, True Love card, Page of Wands, the Three of Cups. There's going to be. It's, it's pretty much what I said. There's going to be an opportunity here where. Um, 
some, somebody's going to possibly inadvertently open up a wound or something's going to happen that's going to remind you of a wound. You've got the opportunity to here to show compassion, show unconditional love because it's a wound that happened to you in the past. You may have asked this same person for the help in the past and they rejected you of some kind. You've got the opportunity now, cause and effect, seven universal laws. Just do um, do what you know is right. So I kind of feel like you, you're full of compassion, you're full of love. For me, this is what you are normally, the Ace of Cups, normally full of unconditional love for people. It's clarified by the Six of Wands. It's kind of ego. It's kind of, I'm getting like a s pride here. It's like, well, you didn't help me, so I'm going this way. Recognize this opportunity because you, you're you gonna have an opportunity to um, really help someone go through something. If not, it's gonna turn out quite painful for them. Um, and you're gonna feel bad as well because you're gonna recognize the wound within yourself and know that you should have done better if that makes sense what you're aware of is justice and justice so this is divine time in a play it's just justice and justice together so this has been brought around for a specific reason for you to actually see the wound within yourself and help others what you're not aware of is a two of cups with a page of pentacles you were in the exact same position offering the same help at the time or asking for the help at the time In the recent past is the Six of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. So, again, this could be somebody asking for to, to borrow some money, possibly. We have got the Page of Pentacles here. Uh, and maybe you're in a position now where you're able to help. Possibly somebody that you asked in the past and they said no, or, you know, whatever circumstances. The immediate future is the Ace of Wands with the Page of Swords. I kind of there's just like an opening of wound for something that happened in the past when you were younger. I had Page of Swords, younger things. Um, so yeah, but the outcome is the Hangman and the Nine of Swords. Recognize the opportunity, recognize the situation before it happens, and you open up that heart chakra and you avoid this. If you don't, you're going to have to look at a different angle and you're going to be plagued with a bit of guilt there, I feel. Yeah. Scorpio. Let's, um, in the extended, we're going to dive into, uh, see exactly what this um, person is doing and uh, we'll go from there. But if this is where I leave you, just um, recognise it before it's too late. I mean, there's nothing major about it. You're just going to feel pretty guilty afterwards. Um, but definitely um, try and recognise the situation and help out if you can, because I think you're in a position now where you can. It doesn't have to be financial. It's just with the pentacles here. Um, but it's, it's going to open a sore wound. And... Um, you're going to be in a position where you can help choose wisely all right so you could be dealing with or having your charts we have pisces we have libra capricorn sagittarius leo we've got pentacles we've got cups we've got wands we've got swords everybody's here those are your standouts okay if you can join me in the extended, fantastic. If not, I'll see you next time. Let me know if it resonates. Thank you for following the channel. I'll see you soon.